Boost pedals. The boost. 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 Hello. Hello. Welcome back. Welcome back. Uh, I'm the captain. And I'm Davis P. And uh, this is potentially part one of a roundup of boost pedals. Boost. Very exciting yes. boost pedals. They do, they, they are um, <laughs> one of the unsung heroes of the pedal. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, basically. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> so they don't do a lot. <laughs> um, and what we did was we took a whole bunch of uh, boost pedals boost. out of the cabinet, which if you you want to go and, in fact, you may have seen like the really short section of this video. In fact, should we just watch it now? Yeah. Okay, um, well there we are then. So, we're down to a final selection of too many pedals. Now, yeah. without plugging all these back in again, let's see if we can just kind of remember what, what, were, our, what were the five standout ones from here. That was, that was just in there for some giggles, wasn't it? Gicks so the five giggles. standout ones. That was a standout. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I thought that's a, that's a classic. I like the Vemu Ram. That was a standout, I yeah. agree. I thought the original, I thought the yeah, Micro yeah, Ram sounded good yeah. at the beginning as well. And then uh, either the Plainsman or the Katana for me. Right, well I'm glad you said that because to be honest, you, my three, these three I was kind of going, eh, I'm not sure that they yeah, really no, no, deserve to make I didn't it like any the, of those really. I mean, I don't oh, mind. I see, now you're saying that. No, 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 I don't mind the Echoplex because it's very nice and clean. Yeah, I just didn't think it did enough for me. Uh, and the little Hotone, that's, that's a winner because it's 29 quid or something. Yeah, so that wins so, and it's but, on its own. But uh, but we're talking about the best here, aren't one, we? Two. So now we've just got to lose one. Maybe we should just have a quick plug them back in and lose one of these so that we can move forward to the best five boost pedals, in our opinion. The boost! Into these amps on this day with that guitar and this player. Uh, ready, go. Oosh! <laughs> There's our top five, right? Yeah, that's it. Okay. Well done for sticking with that. We shall now do the shorthand version of this video where we just literally go into these five and explain why we like them the best. Pardon See me. you this? in part two or part one. Part one. It is. So there you so go. If you want to actually watch that, there's a part two to this video that I'll put in the in a link. In, in the full length, below. not in Benny Hill mode. Yes. Yeah. Um, and we chose our five favorite boost pedals based on uh, using a clean amp, where like this. Sorry, it sounds great. <laughs> and a boot and a slightly driven amp, <laughs> and then using the boost pedal to to sort of give boost. A, sort of a, a boost to this one and a, and an additional saturation to the distorted one. We used the boost pedal to boost the and, amp. Yes, basically. and what we found as we were going through was what we we instantly realised that if you just switch the pedal on and it sounds better. We like it. Yes. And if we were switching the pedal and going, oh, I'll just twiddle here and see if I can find a thing that, you know, then we didn't like it. Or if it just did something to the tone, sometimes there was too much overdrive as part of that yeah. boost circuit. Sometimes the tonality of that boost circuit wasn't, wasn't what we wanted. As always with pedals, it's utterly a personal decision. Sub subjective. Isn't it? I completely. Mean, it's completely. all about the tone. So, so these are just the five on. that we liked. We didn't take price really into account, to be honest with you. So we've just ended up with whatever we've ended up with. And as I said, there's a bunch of cool boost pedals on the floor as well that if you watch the longer version, you might go, actually, that was my favorite one, which is there you fine. Go. And then you just get that one. Absolutely. Um, there's no right or wrong in, in boost. So the MXR Microamp Plus is really the forefather. Forefather. The forefather. <laughs> of the boost pedal. It's one of the early pedals. Now this is the Microamp Plus. Um, the original Microamp, which you can still buy, just has the gain control on it. And then yep, the Microamp Plus has the bass and treble. Which is lovely to have that feature. Yeah, so yeah. If, you, if you don't want the bass and treble feature, you can get a Microamp for about 95 pounds. If you do it's, you want the EQ, then it's about 120 pounds. Yeah. I think the extra 25 pounds is, is worth the money. Absolutely. So let's hear our sparkly, sort of regular clean sound.
that's the first way you might use a boost pedal and some people do it's just that we call it like an always on sound yeah In other words, it's just nicer it's it just, just makes the amp sound yeah. better i mean you could use it for like if you are playing your blues and then you go you know, You just want that yeah, for the solo. A little bit of a lift. Yeah. Some people will, again, will turn the gain control up, and then what it'll do to this amplifier is it'll begin to get that clean channel to just drive a little bit. So this, the drive isn't coming from the pedal, the drive is coming from driving the amp mm. harder. I mean. I don't know how much YouTube compression will make it hard for you to hear that volume difference in here, but that's Jeez. a that's a fairly typical kind of like rhythm to lead kind of yeah. boost. Yeah, I isn't mean it? boost, boost. <laughs> so we should say uh, that that we're really just using these boost pedals with valve amplifiers because being the sort of die-hard, old-fashioned traditionists that we are, <laughs> we're still in the we're still we really care. We still believe that that fundamentally boosting a valve rather than boosting a solid state circuit of some sort absolutely is different yeah uh, it's and very different better yeah mm. i used the b word oh Sorry. no so Tom Wood. Tom Wood. don't say that Tom Wood. <laughs> so here's a distortion sound with no boost and here's it with some boost Sounds great, doesn't it? Boom. Yeah. Boom. And this is Boom. probably the most common, like early use of a boost pedal. So it was to yeah. take like a, a 70s, 80s sort of style Marshall that had a, a fair amount of gain in it, but just ram it right in there just to give it some more boost. Oof. Some more boost. So we like the MXR. I like a that lot. a lot. Uh, next, though, was the surprise package. Um, <laughs> That's. Because, That's he said. to be honest with you, I don't think we'd ever really heard of Fox pedals or the Ebenezer. It's certainly not like a classic. But we stock them. Um, you know. We do stock them. That's yeah. why we're showing it. And they do some good it. stuff. They do some great um, stuff, these guys. Are they Canadian or American? They might. I can't remember. I, I think they're from the United States of Canada. <gasps> Sorry, Ooh. Canada. I know you hate it when I say that. Um, the big ocean. The big, big ocean. Love Canada. The big ocean. A lot of my favorite people are Canadian. Massive ocean. Big. Um, Yes, and this was, you know, no buttons on here, just one button. Doesn't even tell you what that button is. One would assume it's boost. It's, it's um, a MOSFET boost. Let's do it. Yeah. I'm just saying, without the boost now, you're beginning to go, oh, where's... I've yeah, lost, where's my tone? I've lost all the goodness. Where's my tone? See? So where's what happens when you take something away that was better. But here we go. Do that again. Sorry. Adds a lot of bass end in, and yeah. it might be something that's a bit annoying that you haven't got a bass control on there, just in case it's too much. Yeah, it depends on your amp. But yeah, it? you'd have to probably yeah. maybe roll a little bit of the bass end off on your amp if you yeah. want to return it up. But here we go. You nearly played it. The inappropriate scat, you nearly played it. You, you can't help it. <laughs> That's the 
that's the one, yeah. Is it quite noisy, this pedal? It's noisier than this one, isn't it? Yes. Hmm. Didn't it's recognize that. It's because yeah. we got a lot of the gain wound in. Yeah. So this one, I, I actually preferred this one for the clean sound, and so far, I thought this one was better for the driven sound. Yeah. Anywho, I like that for the for the uh, clean. For the clean as well. It's a good well. pedal. I think the micro amp might be my favorite one so far. Uh, Katana. Oh, this was ninety five pounds. The ebony. So that's boost. the cheapest one on the board, right? Uh, yeah, it is. Surprised. Surprise, not, surprise! Not the cheapest boost that you can buy full stop. There were plenty of boost pedals that we uh, did in the big shootout that were cheaper than that. But that was the cheapest one that made it through to the final cut. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Katana boost. Robert Keeley. Hang on. He's a genius. Please. Instantly sounds better. Look. Some might say, why don't you just go over to your amplifier and change the EQ settings if you yeah. prefer that EQ sound, which I don't really have an answer for. No, um, that's it, that's, isn't it? You can just, <laughs> uh, the, the, that's why it's a boost pedal, because you can. It's a, not, a really nice pet. That one's understated, classy. Yep. Just. And it's a mini version of the one that John Mayer uses, right? Is it? Sorry. Mm -hmm. it must be good then. Yeah. Uh, right. With the knob on the side. Dirty sound on. Dirty. <laughs> Don't think he does that. That's a good pedal. That's a good pedal. Yeah. Uh, that's what a good pedal. Say, how much pedal. did we say this was? was ninety nine. Ninety. You sure? I think it was ninety nine. Yeah. I think it. If, I think it might have been. I thought it was more. You might be right. Right, it's 99 pounds and it sounds great. Um, so that's good. That is a good pedal. Yep, 99 uh, pounds. Now, I've owned the this is your, Boost this is for a your. long time. This is actually my one, I think, isn't it? Uh, it's reassuringly heavy uh, because it's got good things inside it. And it takes it. a battery. Of Which, all of these little pedals don't really normally take a battery. No. That takes nine volt battery. It does 18 volts as well. Anyway, let's do this. Lot of bass end again, isn't oh. it? Potentially too much bass end. Oh, I don't know. too much bass end for Lee. I prefer the katana, I must say. Sound again? We didn't really wind the gain up heavily, so. Yes. 
still really like this pedal. I still prefer the guitar. Ah, there you go. Who do you want to believe? A guy who's <laughs> toured the world with Tom Jones and many other famous bands, or a guy who's just basically sold guitars his entire life? I know who I'd believe. <laughs> I, no, it's all. This is you can't say that, man. It's all who likes what. I mean, I like. I was bigging like, you up. What are you hey, talking yeah, thank about? You. Uh, thank you. I was bigging you up. Bigging, b b i g i n g. So Vemuran, this yeah. is for the guitar player who's got money to burn on his pedal board. Yeah. Uh, because the recommended retail price of this thing is nearly four hundred pounds, which is crazy. But they do do some good stuff. And one thing you can do is just turn it on. Yeah, and I'll be honest with you. I mean, there's you, no noise. There's a couple of these in the Anderton sale at the moment because I think, to be fair, they've been in stock for a while and nobody as yet has actually dumped £400 on one. So these are down to the uh, a very attractive price and I have 2 99 I might get one. Uh, still a lot of money for a boot. It pedal. is a lot of money. But Pete does like it. I like it. And if you need one of those pedal boards where, you know, you can literally you just you unzip the pedal board and you've got Vemuran pedals on your board and you just want that kind of... It's a bit like when you go to the bar and you put your... Ferrari key fob on the table. You don't say anything. <laughs> just go. You just open hey the pedal board up and go. <laughs> With your G2 in the front there, and then just the raw of yeah. Remy around. Remy around yeah. pedals, that's it. Your two rock amplifier, and then you can't play guitar. So, Remy around. So, Remy around, here we go. This hey, is buddy, the, this how is are you? The, the buddy, 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 buddy. <laughs> anyway, Bood. it's a. Uh, how did you describe this? The most transparent one yes. of them all. Yes. Come on, then, play. It's so quiet as well. Mm. It's a there's a response in it that I don't get from any other ones when I'm playing. That'll that'll be the uh, four hundred pounds that you just spent on it, basically <laughs> making you. Uh, it's like believe it's a, it. Yeah, it's, a it's psychos- definitely better. It's a psychosomatic. <laughs> sound great <laughs> it does sound it does good, sound, it? it's so ludicrously <laughs> expensive uh but if you can afford to treat yourself to one it looks like a bar of sort of slightly solid gold as but well. they, they it's probably what it they, is they do that <laughs> no no they, with the machine they've they've all all of the corners are different on all of the pedals they when they shine them up oh i yeah. see and right. you, apparently you should look inside one as well because it looks like a always look inside <laughs> I mean, it take, I take, it does sound and take good. my money. I'd rather have one of these than, than like one of these. And you know what I mean? You get two or three boost pedals, just buy that one. Why would you buy two or three boost pedals, Pete? Because we've got two, three different boards. Oh, I see. I'd rather have Velcro and swap it over. I'll, I'll take the, I'll take the. You're uh, such a pro. No normal people have three or four boards. Only like professionals do. Anyway, look, the <laughs> final, final part of our test is, I know that some of this is psychosomatic. I think that Most Pete likes it. this one because it's the dearest one. Yeah, well, yeah. And so what I'm going to do is I'm now going to, I think Pete should be blindfolded. Uh, and I am literally <laughs> going to plug them all in. And... Uh, you think I should be blindfolded? I'm not sure you want to watch that video, ladies and I gentlemen. I definitely do. Uh, and then what we're going to do is, I'm just going to switch them on at random. Maybe not at random. Well, yeah, probably at random. With all sort of similar settings. And Pete's going to go, that was my favourite. And it's the ultimate acid test. Oh, my good God. Shall I get something on my... On my and before uh, you're all saying, I know you're probably going, having five pedals in the thing is probably doing... Yeah. Actually, do you know what we should do? We should use a gig rig. Let's put this in the front of it because without the pedal switched on, but it is the, this is a buffer. Okay, so... Shall I, put a, shall, I put, shall I turn around? I think you should. Or do you want to just wear a mask? I think that would be fine. The mask would be funniest. Yeah. Okay, so I will be now Chappers. Ah! Oh, he's got a big head. Has he got a big head? Yeah, if he's wearing got a small mask, head. Or maybe I've got a small you have mask. got small feet. You know what they say about men with small uh, feet? Good shout. Right, okay. Small shoes. 
That doesn't look very comfortable. Are you okay? It's it's awful, but it's fine. Now, which amp do you want to try it in? The clean one. Just the clean one. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> You can't hear that. Are you clicking the same one on all the yeah, time? Yeah, I'm clicking the same one on and off. <laughs> but that's good that you can't hear the difference. So that's pedal number one. Pedal number two. Oh, that was just one pedal? That was one pedal. To okay, that was the Vemuram. Maybe. So that's, that's that's pedal number two. I'm yeah. just going to go back to pedal number one again so that you okay. can compare. I'm going to get them all wrong. You don't have to get them. You don't have to guess which one they are. You just okay. have to tell me which is your favourite. Okay. So that's number one, number two. Number three. Oh, I haven't plugged it in. Eagle-eyed of you may have spotted that the mic ramp wasn't plugged in. So here was number two again. I think number back, two. Back to, back, to, yeah. back to number one. Yeah, and I like Num number number two. Number two. Yeah. Yeah. I feel I'm like I'm going like this. Is that just the thing? That's the number four. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's nice as well. Quick number one. And finally, number five. Quick step number, number five or number two? Number five and number two. Number okay, five ready? Or right, here's two. one. Number two and number five, and I think I like number two best. Put it on the distortion channel. Then. Oh, I'll do it. You, oh, you can look at that. Did I get it? Number one, two, three. Hi, Gramp. Four. See, that is number two and number five. That was what it was before. You like number no. two and number five Do generally. I? Yeah. Was it? Okay, two and five then. Take your blindfold off then. Did you agree? Uh, I mean, again, they all sound jolly similar. They do. Uh, they so really number two do. was the Ebenezer. Was it? And number five was the Vemuran. Ah, I can hear a little bit more gain from that one. Right. I mean, but obviously you've got different settings. Yeah, for these. I, I could hear. I could definitely hear when you kicked that in. That was much more toppy. Was that number? Was it? I mean, one? I, I've rolled the bass on a little off of this because I think on the clean set, oh, I liked on this was that you could roll the bass end off. And yes, not but you can also the clean you can sound. also go. Yeah, you can have. If you've done that, I wouldn't. I've, I would have picked that. Cog was back on then. Okay, okay. right. Here comes another random order of let's see which one you like the best.
I don't know what we've proved other than they all sound the same. They all sound uh, good. Man. It's very, very subtle. They yeah. all sound good. I, I think my, I think you know sonically, I prefer those two, but like I think most getting my, most out of them, these two are for me. Well, it's interesting that the two that you've picked that have got EQ on them, because yeah. uh, as you say, it's a little bit of extra, isn't it? But look, there yeah. you go. So there's our boost roundup. It's nothing like as uh, there's nothing like the difference in boost pedals that there are on you know more driven pedals yeah um and i think it's going to end up being a very personal kind of, of choice oh it's always and... so personal that's why there's 150 overdrive pedals in the cabinet in there yeah because one guy would like this and the other guy like that no i prefer tube scream and i think it's too nasally and i like uh you know something with a bit more bottom on it boosh <laughs> there that's we go that's it then that's it yeah. end of boost review yeah uh boost what should we do out. next choruses delays Wow, uh, choruses. Metal pedals. That would be your... Metal pedal. We'll uh, get Joss into that. Do do, should, we do a, should we do a Purple Rain style chorus pedal? <laughs> just all you're allowed to play. That's the only chord you're allowed to play and you've just got to choose your favourite chorus pedal. Out. Wasn't that flanger though? Oh, I don't Wasn't know. it? Sounds chorus. A flange. Should be a flange. Maybe it was, was chorus. I don't know. Anyway. anyway enjoy. Uh, thanks for watching. Again, you guys are great. You love you. Bye. Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Anderton's Guitar YouTube channel. If you're a drummer or a keyboard player or interested in music technology, you might find one of our other channels interesting and I'll put details of those in the description below. If you want to find out more about the products we've just featured, please click here. If you'd like to buy a t-shirt like this, please click here. If you want to watch another video on our guitar channel, click down here. And to subscribe to our guitar channel, click here. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.